Right now that all of my art supplies are around me, I should pose for the thumbnail. What's, what's a YouTuber thing? <gasps> I don't know how to pose for thumbnails. <laughs> One of these. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're doing well. Obviously very different setup. I asked you guys a little while ago on my Instagram if you guys would be interested in watching me clean out all of my art supplies, which explains all of this. <laughs> and to my surprise, you guys very eagerly wanted this, which I'm very happy about because I definitely have way too much sorry, <laughs> and need to clean out all of it. So I'm glad that you guys are letting me do this on camera because quite frankly, if I just make this one of my weekly uploads, then I'll be forced to do it. So, also do you like the outfit that I picked? I figured, you know, people watching this video of me cleaning out my art supplies, they won't get the impression that I'm an artist. So I figured, you know, I'll tuck my shirt in and make my shirt a turtleneck and people will get the message. <laughs> and didn't bother doing my hair because I'm just gonna pull it back because I am in desperate need of a haircut. Dear Lord, please save me. I'm also sorry if the lighting isn't the best or the framing isn't the best. I'm, I'm, I'm doing the best that I can here. <laughs> Considering I don't normally film these types of videos, I don't exactly know what the best setup would be so I'm trying my best I noticed my head is slightly anyways I should probably actually talk about the art supplies <laughs> of course I have a lot but I do want to say that is because I have been an artist for years these are things that I either bought myself with money over time I bought it specifically for the channel they were gifts from birthdays or Christmas etc that's why I have a lot <laughs> and I thought that it would be a really neat idea for me to go through all of my art supplies get rid of what I don't use my sister's probably going to get first dibs so she'll look through everything that I don't want and she could take anything that she wants but then I figured I could donate some of it to either like a school or like a hospital or like a daycare or something. Some of the stuff will probably go to more like professional places like an art class or something but I do have some things that would probably be better suited for a children's hospital or something. I don't know if you can see the Crayola over there. <laughs> so I figured I'd do that because my god it's just gonna sit here forever. All of this stuff would probably make people happy but I'm just letting it sit in my room like an asshole. So anything I don't want is gonna go in this bin get started. <laughs> also just a note, I did bring everything and I know for a fact some of the stuff I'm going to keep like my handy dandy Copic markers here but I figured I would just bring everything out anyway so I can show you guys what I have. I get a lot of questions about what materials I use so I figured now would be a good opportunity. All right first of all things I'm absolutely keeping. These I didn't even take them out of their little organization thing that I keep them in because they're gonna stay here. My handy dandy Copic markers all reliable. I love them very very much. These are keepers for sure. Other keepers more alcohol markers, I have a problem. <laughs> These are Ohu markers. I bought them specifically so I can review them on my channel. I bought these before the brush marker for the 200 set came out. So these are all the bullet nibs, but I still really like them. Between the two, Copics are of higher quality and are my go-to, but they are very expensive. So I do genuinely think these are the next best thing. I keep these for whenever I don't want to waste my Copics. I'm just like a throwaway illustration. Or if I don't have a color in my Copics, I usually reach for my Ohus. Next up we got more or alcohol markers. What a surprise. <laughs> I do use the Spectrum Noir fairly often, so I am probably going to keep these. But honestly, these Prisma colors, I think I'm going to say goodbye to. I don't use them super often. I got a 12 color primary set. I believe some of them have died <laughs> and Prisma colors, to my knowledge, aren't refillable. And honestly, since these are like a super bright primary color set, I'm not primary colors in the right word, like basic colors, just like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. I don't use these a lot, so I'll probably Put these in the bin. Next up, what do we have? Oh look, more alcohol markers. <laughs> these I think I'm also going to get rid of because I literally bought them for a video, thought they were all right. I don't think I've used them since the video <laughs> and I'm probably not going to considering I've got my Copics, I've got my Okuus. Don't really see much use for these anymore. Into the bin, some more things right here. These and also these bits <laughs> are part of these guys. The body kun and body chan dolls. <laughs> I bought these not really for like studying anatomy, which I would not recommend using these for, but I do use them whenever I do need to get a bit more of a dynamic pose and I need to get the angles a little bit more right. These I'm keeping. I wouldn't recommend these to like draw every single 
single pose that you ever draw ever but if you need to say have a pose that's a little bit more foreshortened or if it's from like a bird's eye view or a worm's eye view these are pretty clutch <laughs> they aren't like perfectly anatomically correct so you do need to make some adjustments based off of what your art style is but they are very helpful for getting angles right next up in here these are liquitex acrylic ink and then this is black star india ink i think i'll probably end up keeping the black ink but these i might say goodbye to because i never used them i literally bought them because i was with my mom at michael's and she was like look they're on clarence and i was like clarence and then i bought them so that's why i have them <laughs> and then i never i think i used i used them like once and then that was it so i'm not a huge ink person the most i use is this for either making ink washes and then use those like watercolors or i'll use them as like actual line art so this i'll keep these i'll say goodbye to i think i'm actually going to wait I'll put these up here on my desk that you can't see because it's standing <laughs> because they're glass and i don't want them to break and then these i'm going to keep in their little container because i'm going to keep them but these are the liquitex acrylic gouache these are also very nice I bought them to try out in a video and I really liked them. I don't use them like super, super often, but I do like them quite a bit. I haven't been filling out my sketchbook for reasons, <laughs> but once I do start drawing in my sketchbook more frequently again, I'll probably end up using these a lot more. These are other things that are keepers. These are things that are causing everything else to fall. Hell yeah. <laughs> these are Sick. These are my Tombow brush pens. I use these so often in my sketchbooks. If I just want to add a little bit of color to my sketchbook spread, I'll use these. <laughs> They're in their little container. I usually keep it folded up like this on my desk. I almost have all of them. There's like four that I don't have, but these I'm absolutely keeping. I love them. All of these things that have fallen. <laughs> these are mostly liners. I use most of these, but I don't use all of them. So these I'm keeping. I use index cards often. I use post-it notes often. If not for in my sketchbook, I always use them to make notes to myself whenever I'm filming a video. This, by the way, this is an organization thing. I got it as a gift. I think it's, I saw it in Target, so <laughs> I don't get super fancy with my organization stuff. Literally, whatever I find <laughs> or whatever is given to me, I have some stuff up here straight up just from the dollar store, so. These friction pens, I think I'm going to get rid of. I used to love them, but I don't use them <laughs> anymore. They're Pilot Friction Erasable Pens. These I'm also going to put up here. My Copic Liners, I I'm keeping. And then my micron liners I am also keeping because I use them very, very often. Actually, I wonder if I should go through these because I think I have a couple of duplicates. Duplicates. <laughs> Maybe I could go through them and put some away just as backups. Or if it's a color I don't use super often, maybe toss it and give it to my sister or something. She is always stealing my fine liners. That little shit. I'm kidding. If you call my sister a little shit, I will come and chop your toes off. I will find you. These pens I am absolutely keeping. <laughs> Pilot Precise V5. Love them so much. I bought these ones as backup because I do have these same colors in my pencil case, but since I do use them frequently, these are for whenever I run out of ink. So those are keeping. Those are keeping. Those I am keeping. <laughs> White gel pens, clutch, need them. These pens I don't really use. These brush these brush pens I don't use super often, but whenever I need them, I really need them. So I'm probably going to keep those. And these highlighters are literally brand new, so I'll keep these. Let me see what I got here for these liners. I guess sorting them by color would be the best thing. I mean, I do use pretty much all of these colors. Honestly, I might toss these ones. I don't use them the most often. So I guess I'll, well, mm. see, this is my problem, all right? I'm not gonna call myself a hoarder, but I am well out of the way to becoming a hoarder. I just get way too sentimental about things like these are some of the first liners that i bought so i'm very reluctant to to get rid of them <laughs> but i don't use them anymore especially because they're 05 and i don't really use 05 sizes i go for smaller liners this is just a heads up for anyone who knows me in real life if you give me something i will keep it forever so don't ever get me anything because i will never throw it away <laughs> uh, i should probably get rid of these i'm sorry these black liners i'll also get rid of i don't use black liners like ever really oh it's really pouring out love that for me and then these sepias i am for sure keeping i use them so 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 often oh my god i have so many oh one sepias these are the duplicates i'll put those aside these are all my copic liners <laughs> i have them in a few different colors whenever i do use a black liner i go for the copics it's not super often but you know they're more of just if the odd occasion comes up so i don't think there really is any need for me to keep the other ones so long as i have these and then i also have them in gray and sepia these are I'll check in here and I've cleared out a spot. Actually, I wonder if I should put the little duplicates here. Liners complete. These I use for 
Is that pencil sharpener in there? These I use for when I'm painting. I use them as paint stuff because they're very nice looking. We have like a whole set of these. We have actual ones for drinking out of. Some Andy Warhol cups. They're very neat. I use two of them for paint water and then one of them for actually holding paintbrushes. So these I'm keeping. On a similar note, I have a Bob Ross mug. <laughs> Serves the same purpose. Gotta keep him. He watches over me and sends me positive vibes. <laughs> I thought about using it for coffee, but I figured, you know, I think he would best be served for an art supply. It's what Bob would have wanted. These are all little things I'm keeping. We got scotch tape, double-sided tape, white out, an adhesive roller, pencil sharpener. I have no idea what pencil sharpener this is, but it is my absolute most favorite pencil sharpener I have ever owned in my entire life. This is my reason for living. This is a spray bottle. I think I got this from Sally's Beauty Supply. I don't know. It's just a cheap spray spray. I use it for watercolors and also disciplining my cats. Speaking of pets, who's there? Is that my daughter bear? A bear has come to join us. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, Donna. You can say hi or are you just gonna lick my face? I'm... <laughs> I'm recording a video, Zola. Anywho. One thing that I am going to save for last is going through my washi tape. I do want to go through these because I use most of them, but I do want to take some of them out. I am going to keep all of them, but I want to use some of them as like painter's tape. So I'm probably going to go through this last. I'll keep this right here. Similar to that, I have... <coughs> <laughs> this is a portfolio that's very old and torn. I tried fixing it with tape and it failed. Some of it is like usable paper. I just don't use it, so. And this is another thing of scrap paper. Hey, good yawn. This I'm probably going to keep most of, but I'll probably go in here and toss some of the stuff. This is more of like actual large usable sheets of paper. This is for more scraps that I will stick in my sketchbook. So put that there. This is another paint jar that I use. I might just toss this because <laughs> I have my other mugs. These are things that I am also keeping. Big ol' container of white acrylic paint and then these. You'll notice the binder clips on them. I have them hanging on my wall, but I figured I'd bring them down here to show you guys. Keeping these. These I use all of the time, so. And by all of the time, I mean whenever it is that I use acrylic paints. <laughs> I'm not the most skilled with acrylic paints, and I don't know a whole lot about them. <laughs> so I, this is the Liquitex Basics stuff. I don't know if they're the best quality of acrylic paints, but they're what I use and what works for me, so. And speaking of go-to paints, these are my favoriteest gouaches. <laughs> I love them. The Windsor & Newton Designer Gouache. I only have these five colors also on binder clips for the same reason. I love them so, so much. Some gouache that I probably am going to toss are these Reeves gouache sets. This is the first set of gouache that I bought. Reeves paints themselves. They're not anything spectacular. <laughs> the quality isn't the greatest, but I do think that it is the fairest quality for the fairest price. If you don't want to experiment with gouache, I would recommend these. I believe they also have acrylics and watercolors, but honestly for those, I feel like there are cheaper watercolors and acrylics that work better for a cheap gouache alternative. These are nice, but considering I have my designer Windsor & Newton gouache, I don't really use these anymore, so these are going in the bucket. These are watercolors and gouache that I am going to keep. These aren't my go-to. This is the <coughs> Windsor & Newton cotton in watercolors, and then this is actually a gouache that I made myself. This is actually the Reeves uh, gouache, but I bought an empty paint palette on Amazon and then I shoved my gouache in here. These are not my go-to by any means, but I do like to take these whenever I go out and about and do art or if I'm traveling. These are nice, so I'm keeping these. Uh, more paint stuff. These are my go-to watercolors. These are Koi watercolors. I love these very much. These are probably my favorite watercolors I've ever used. And then these are the Van Gogh watercolors. I'm probably going to toss these and give them away, but I bought these for a YouTube video and there's nothing wrong with them as they are, but one thing that I actually found out is that these are a European brand and here in America where I live, they are very expensive. The quality is fine, but considering the price in America, I wouldn't buy them again. But when I bought these and reviewed them on my channel, I did get a lot of my international followers leaving comments saying that it's a lot cheaper where they live, so check the price. I believe these were somewhere between 40 and $60. I can't quite remember, but I'm sure someone else will love these. <laughs> these I'm keeping. These are just ink washes I made. I used that same India ink from earlier, mixed it with water, <laughs> and then I made my ink wash. This is a darker wash. This is a lighter wash. That's my dog. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> Here's my other Marilyn Monroe mug. This is a bunch of stuff. Yes, I know, it's very interesting. This is just a bunch of random shit, to be honest. These are Copic markers I got 
they're on the floor now. I got a set of Copic markers and these are some overlapping colors. So I already have these, but I do have them as backups. Keeping these, I guess for now, I'll shove them back in here. <laughs> this is one of those squeezy brushes. I have one just because it's nice to have. This is the end of, I believe one that was in here. So yeah, this should not even be here. How did this happen? I don't know. <laughs> These are brushes I use all the time. Not gonna lie, I use this mostly for dusting, eraser shavings. And then this I use for when I, what's it? This, the clear gesso. Keeping that and also keeping this. This is a watercolor brush I am keeping. I had another one. I think my sister borrowed it and never gave it back. <laughs> so I gotta confront her about that. These are all acrylic brushes, all of which I use. This is an acrylic brush that I use for whenever I need to just push some paint around real quick. Not for art stuff, for any unrelated stuff. If I'm just painting a fucking whatever, I use this. <laughs> Palette knives, need these. This, I honestly don't even know what brush this is. So I'll probably get rid of it. <laughs> that up there for now. It just came back and attacked me. How fucking rude. I'm gonna keep most of what's in here. These are my coal erase erasable pencils. I use these for sketching fairly often. Look at this one. I used this one so much. <laughs> I don't have a pencil extender, but I found an old ballpoint pen that didn't work and I taped it. <laughs> these are precise V7 pens, very similar to my favorite pen. I might get rid of these because I don't use them. These are, is it technical pencils? Is that the right one? The one with all of the different types of lead. I don't really use these. I think I'll set these aside. I think I have multiple and come back to them later. This I'm probably gonna get rid of. It's a charcoal pencil. I don't use charcoal pencils. I don't even know where this came from. <laughs> Black Sharpie, I feel like I just need for various gift writing stuff, so I'll keep that. This highlighter, I'll probably get rid of. I don't even. Zola. <laughs> She's digging in the carpet. This I'll probably also get rid of because I never use it. Literally, I had a whole pack of these of various sizes. What are they, Tortillion? The most I've used these for is for DS styles. Paint palettes, keeping. Other things that I am for sure keeping are my Posca pens. I love them. <laughs> I do want to find a better way to store these though. This is another thing that I usually keep little scrap sheets in. I used to use this to store my Tombow pens before I got my actual storage thing. It's a thing of Folgers that I painted black. <laughs> and you can tell I did not do a very good job of that. These I'll keep. They look fairly nice for swatching on. These little notepads I'll keep. I use them for, you guessed it, writing notes. Trash. That's trash. That's an ass. I hate being wasteful, but I would say that I hate being wasteful to an unhealthy degree because like, what the fuck is this? I don't need those, but I'm like, oh, but I can't throw them away. They're perfectly good sheets of paper. No, they're not. <laughs> These are actually stuff for my pin making thing. I have a pin maker machine. I don't know if machine's the right word, but a pin maker. Makes little one inch pins. I mentioned it on Instagram, but I am going chill there, buddy. I am going to play around with the idea of closing my Redbubble shop and opening maybe like an Etsy or a Gumroad or something. Stay tuned for pins to be available. Obviously, keeping the ruler, keeping the X-Acto knife. These, I had some of these, what are they? Fountain pens for my India ink, but I only had like the nibs, so I taped them to paintbrushes. Honestly, these can go. No one's gonna want to use those. Some emergency backup pencils. I do have my go-to, but should probably have some of these just in case something goes horribly wrong and they like explode or something. I don't know. More liners that I'll probably get rid of because they are all black liners and I don't need that many. More miscellaneous paintbrushes. I use none of these. <laughs> I don't even- how did I get so many? <laughs> this I'll probably get rid of. It's chalkboard paint and this is what I mean when I say if you give me something I'll keep it forever. My mom gave me this and so I have- I, I feel like I can't be like I don't want it. I'm gonna get rid of it but like I never use it. I know some kid or something is gonna love this <laughs> but I I feel like an asshole. Okay, all of this is gonna go. This is stuff that I don't use. There's miscellaneous. Actually, I think I want to keep these Pokemon ones because I'm a nerd. Everything else I'm gonna get rid of though. There's some Prismacolor watercolor pencils that I had two sets of, so I just shoved one in here. There's highlighters. There's these like gel pens. There's just a bunch of stuff in here that I, I none of which I use. So all of this is gonna go in here. I'll probably sort through that and figure out what's 
best to go where. This is actually the lid to my Tombow storage container, but I use it to hold a bunch of post-it notes. Honestly, I'm gonna keep all of these because I use a fuck ton of post-it notes. And I even have one with the dinosaur sunglasses. <laughs> this is all paper. I will go through that at the end. Although this is a paper pad that I have debated whether or not I should actually get rid of. As marker paper, I hate it. <laughs> it handles markers just fine, but it's so thin. I don't like it. <laughs> Basically what I've been using it for is just mindless doodling. Like if I'm working or something at my computer desk and I don't want to work <laughs> or if I'm having a hard time focusing or something I'll just doodle on this so I'll probably keep it for that purpose but if you're using markers would not recommend this and this I'm gonna get rid of it's big ass paper scroll why do I have this don't even know <laughs> here is a pencil case of who even knows what to be honest with you I have a bunch of mechanical pencils in here I'm gonna probably get rid of those there's more of these erasable pens I'm probably gonna get rid of those also the same brand are these erasable highlighters it's very neat but I don't use them anymore so I'm sure someone else will love those and now these oh thank you for the kisses <laughs> these are colored brush pens and I'm not sure I don't use them I should probably get rid of them these ones I will keep I think because like I said I don't use black brush pens all of the time but whenever I need them I really need them so these I'll keep but all of these can go some 0.7 pencil lead my backup pencils are actually 0.7 so I'll probably keep this but most of what I use is actually like 0.5 or 0.3 this is really funny because imagine if I donated this and nobody in Florida would know what it is. <laughs> in Florida, we have a place called Publix, but I'm from New York originally, and there we have Tots, which is kind of like the same thing. And then these I'm also getting rid of. These are some Staedtler fine liners. If you need an affordable option for liners, these are a pretty good option. And look, you open the case and it stands. I used to use these... I used to use them to throw them on my floor, I guess. <laughs> I used to use these very often in my sketchbook or if I wanted to bring some liners to school, these would usually be it, but I don't use them anymore. Honestly, this pencil case I might also get rid of because I have my handy dandy pencil case. I guess I'll shove all of this right back in here and put this entire pencil case in the bin. Here's some stuff that I know I'm going to get rid of. First off, I found this at Target. It's just a book and it has like comic templates. I thought it would be fun to make a video on it and then I never did and honestly, I've completely lost interest, so. Same with this. This I actually ended up making a video on. It's a sticker set and they're all blank. Very lightly used. Most of them are still there. These I'll also get rid of. These like adult coloring books. I think I colored in like one. Yeah, I colored in a page. And then, why do I have this? What? What? I don't need this. So you can go make a child happy because you are not making me happy. Tiny little stapler. I actually used this so much when I was writing my comic script. I don't know where this came from. I use it as a paint palette for acrylic paints, clearly, so <laughs> this I'm keeping. And speaking of, we got more. I guess I'll start by taking out the ones I know I'm going to keep. I'm keeping all of my Liquitex Basics acrylic. These are my go-to. I am getting rid of some of these though. I did this like paid project for my mom's boss and I very much overestimated how much green paint I needed. <laughs> So I'll keep one of these and then the rest can go. And then these are also Liquitex, but these are Liquitex professional acrylic. These I did not pay for. <laughs> there is a kid I knew in high school and he had a bunch and he was like, hey, you're an artist. Would you like some paint? And I said, yeah. And then he gave them to me and that's how I got these. <laughs> this is a weird situation. There was a lot of paint in here, but the cap broke, which is why it's in a Ziploc bag and I have a rubber band like holding it. I don't use it, so I would like to get rid of it, but I don't know if some Something in this state would be okay to donate to somebody so let me know I'll put it in the bin for now this is Academy Grumbacher Academy <laughs> Not the highest quality acrylic paint that I use, but I did want to get some Payne's gray paint and start replacing it with my black. I would have gotten the Liquitex one, but Michael didn't have it when I went to go buy it. So I need to keep the brown. I need to keep both of these yellows. Can get rid of the green. Those can go. 
I am keeping all of these. Whenever I used colored pencils in a finished illustration, I go for these Prisma colors. And then these, I don't like them for finished illustrations, but I do use these for whenever I want to sketch with colored pencil, just to spice things up a little bit. So I am also keeping these. These, I think I'm gonna hold on to for now. These are charcoal. I've never used charcoal, but I would like to try it in a video. So I'll keep these for now. And then after the video, if I don't like it, I'll probably donate it. This is graphite. These I am definitely donating. I have never used these. Don't think I ever will. All right, this little thing I'm keeping, these are more of my favorite pens. These are Bic Round Stick Grip ballpoint pens. These I sketch with every single time I sketch pretty much. If I am sketching, odds are I'm using these. These are my spares. So whenever the ones in my pencil case runs out, that's what these are for. I have so many things of pastels and I don't use pastels. <laughs> so all of these, I think I am going to get rid of though. Honestly, the aesthetic is dope as fuck, right? <laughs> but I never used them. I have oil pastels and I have chalk pastels, neither of which I really use. I used these once because I wanted to try them. I was like, wow, that's neat. And then I never used them again. <laughs> so the camera cut off right as I made the amazing observation that these are the same brand, but the moment has passed. <laughs> these, I don't even know what brand they are. The container fell apart. I had to tape it back together. <laughs> these were actually a gift from my grandpa on my dad's side because he's also an artist, but I've never used them. Yep. Look at that, brand new. <laughs> These are a bunch of random pens. I'll probably go through those individually. And then I have so many Sharpies. I think I'm gonna go through all of my Sharpies and save like one of each color. But after that, I might get rid of the rest because I don't use them super often. I do like some pens for decorative stuff. Like this, I'll keep because it's fun. My cats like it. And then this I keep because look, on one side, he's a happy little narwhal, but then on the other side, he's an angry narwhal. So, oh wait, no, he's not a happy narwhal. He's a tired narwhal. Keeping all of the big round stick grips. I have a ton, but I use a ton. These Sharpies, I will set aside and go through all of my Sharpies at once. These are some Faber-Castell, what are they, pit artist pens? They're like little brush pens. I used to use them a lot don't use them anymore so honestly now that i'm thinking about it i'll probably just put these in the bin too these i'm also going to get rid of they are just colored brush pens i bought them because i think i was visiting family in new york again and i needed an art supply so i bought these but i don't use them anymore these are two ebony pencils i used to love using ebony pencils to make more finished illustrations but i don't really do that anymore <laughs> whenever i do make finished illustrations it's usually with a different medium and i use color now so these are all charcoal pencils. I'm getting rid of these ones, but I am keeping this white one. White charcoal pencils are the only ones that I use and that's for whenever I draw on the front of my sketchbook. A lot of sketchbook covers don't take well to just like regular pencil lead or colored pencils. So I've used this quite a bit in the past whenever I wanted to decorate the cover. These are Tombow brush pens that are spares. I used to buy them in sets and sometimes certain sets will have overla overlapping, overlapping colors and so here are all of my extras since i do use them a lot i am going to be keeping these spare tape need this these i'll get rid of these were my mom's makeup sponges she was like here use these for art and i was like okay but then i <laughs> all of this pencil lead i don't need like i said i mostly use 0.5 and 0.3 uh, these are all 0.7 so i don't need these here is some 0.5 these i'll keep this i kind of want to keep just for the novelty of it it's a pencil sharpener but it looks like a clock honestly it doesn't work that great as a pencil sharpener these i think it's time to say goodbye to they're little erasers and they have little hands and they move and stuff i'm sure these will make a child very happy these erasers i don't need frog we got a jar. Door is a jar. This is a paper cutter. Recollections brand. Cheapest, but it gets the job done. These I am keeping. I always use paper clips. These I am also keeping. I always use rubber bands. And these I am also keeping. These are staples. I have more fucking oil pastels. This glue stick I do use. This clay I do not use. This is just a waste sitting here. I'm never gonna use it, so. And here we have all of my Crayola. I don't know why I have so many. I think I am going to keep one of these just because they are fun to dick around with every once in a while, but there's absolutely no need for me to own this bunch of Crayola crayons. Look at that, most of them are brand new. The box is falling apart. <laughs> all of the crayons though, like they're all in very good shape and some of them look like I've never even use them. Oh no, the crayons have escaped. Let me just... There we go. Good as new! Alright, I think paper would be the next best option. What do you think, Zola? Yeah? You wanna look through the paper with me? What? I gotta work, bud! <laughs> go find your sheep. Where's your sheep? Where's your sheep? <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> 
These I use all the fucking time. This is, I believe, Recollections cardstock. Small in size, but I use them a lot for smaller illustrations in my videos. This actually came with a printer that I got for Christmas. My printer can print on photo paper, which I may or may not use to try and make prints. I bought a couple of different papers to try and make prints on, so we'll see how that goes. This is B watercolor paper. I don't have much left, but I do like it, so I'm keeping it. <laughs> this is artboard. I used it once in a video and have not used it again. I might donate these just because I can't picture myself using them really. They're very very thick. Here's a sheet. It's almost like cardboard but this is more made for a mixed media type illustration. It's very good quality and I did enjoy using it. I just don't do enough mixed media stuff or enough stuff that would require something as heavy as this so I'll probably get rid of these. I'll probably go through these like individual sheets last. This is the marker paper I would recommend. The Strathmore marker paper. I haven't tried enough different marker papers to say whether or not it's really the best necessarily but my god is it better than the Kenson. <laughs> if you like Strathmore is just good old Reliable. It might not be the highest quality paper or like the top tier paper, but it gets the job done. If you ever need watercolor paper that works, you know where to go. These I am also keeping. It's a lot, but I use it a lot. This is all Recollections cardstock. I use this more than like marker paper or anything. It's a very, very cheap alternative to marker paper. This I believe is also Recollections cardstock paper, but it's colored. I don't really use this for drawing, but I do like making my own sketchbooks and I use these quite often for that. Bristol is my favorite paper, but since it is my favorite, I feel like I can't use it a lot. Because <laughs> since it is my favorite, I I don't want to like waste it I guess but most of that was pointless because I ended up keeping everything but it's fine. Alright Zilla's gonna take over the video now. <laughs> you gonna take over the video? You gonna take over the video? You gonna start to die supplies? Excuse me. Thank you. She knows excuse me. Very cute, I know. It might make more sense for me to sort through the Sharpies and then also my washi tape after I start putting everything away because I'm going to be filming over towards my desk. So once I have my tripod and everything set up over there, then I'll sort through these because then you guys can actually see what I'm doing, which I probably should have done for the liners and everything, but big brain man. I'm smart and think of everything ahead of time. <laughs> I'll probably end up throwing away the portfolio too. It's not well put together anymore. That said, let me just... Yay! All right, these look like a bunch of smaller scraps, so I will set this aside for now. Also, I can't believe I forgot to mention this at the beginning. <laughs> Another thing that I have a lot of, stuff like this. It's just like decorative paper. And then I also have a lot of empty sketchbooks, but I'm not going through those because I am keeping those with those decorative paper pads. I use them for making sketchbooks and I use them to put in my sketchbooks. So those I keep and then also my sketchbooks Books. I fill in a lot of sketchbooks, so I am keeping all of those. I'll put this pile over with this pile. Those will be smaller sheets of paper. I guess I'll start with the larger ones and then we'll work our way down. Cardboard. I think I meant to save these four sketchbooks, but they I wouldn't recommend cardboard. <laughs> Do you guys like my alarm? Shout out if you know what that is. Oh my god, it's a beefy Bendy's uniform. <laughs> You're useless. Oh my god, these pictures are from a calendar that my mom got me for Christmas. It was this like website where you can make your own calendar and it's like pictures of the animals. Zola as a baby. <laughs> okay, well this is just my life. <laughs> These are actually envelopes and cards that were supposed to be for friends for Christmas, but I never mailed out. Sorry, friends. We have final.
finally reached the conclusion of the paper. It's a lot thinner now. <laughs> Who knew that once you've narrowed your stuff down to things you'll actually use, things become less cluttered? Who would have fucking thought? Not me, apparently. My butt hurts from sitting on the floor for so long. It's time to put everything away and put an end to this hell. I've been doing this for hours. <laughs> Is this the opportunity for me to do like a YouTuber transition of like, yeah. but do I want to do the effort of that? No, I don't. Welcome to my dirty ass desk, which also has horrible lighting, but again, I tried. Ignore that microphone. It's the best place I could put it. <laughs> I figured I should probably look through my Sharpies and my washi tape before I start putting everything back together. I will take one of each color and the rest can go. I'm taking the silver. Start to get stormy out again. We stand for the weather. That did not work out as well as I had hoped it would. And lastly, my washi tape. Most of my washi tape I do use. Usually the ones that I don't are the ones that are like words and text and are kind of lame. But I had to get them because they were in a set and I wanted other ones in the set. So I had to buy the stupid ones, you know? The ones where it's like, just keep believing. You know, I don't want to. I just want the one with the fox on it. Honestly, this one I can't imagine me using too much. And this one. Oh, okay. I don't want to use that one. I don't even know what kind of pattern this is really supposed to be. These ones I also don't really use. I don't know how good these would be as like painter's tape. Like making borders on like watercolor stuff because these ones are super super papery but I'll set them aside for now I guess. This I usually keep underneath my desk so for these I might put these elsewhere so then that way they're a little bit more accessible for whenever I'm painting. Excuse me microphone. I have a cut on my finger so let's hope nothing bad happens. Oh right on the cut. I shouldn't have said anything and jinxed it. I need to repaint the top of this honestly. Look at this. I am disgusting. <laughs> Start putting stuff back together. I can't imagine I'm going to arrange it too much differently from how I had it before. I guess we'll start this side and move the lamp. I think that might have made the lighting worse, but it's fine. Then this spot right here is where I usually put my tripod. These, I believe, I actually had inside of my desk since they're just spares, so put them in there real quick. This was in here, over here in the corner. Let's see if my Poscas will fit in here, which they should. I do want to organize them by color because of course I do. I think at some point I want to paint black or white just so they fit everything. Probably black so then that way they don't look like a complete fucking disaster. The blue just doesn't really fit in with the rest of my desk decor. There we go. This actually went where my microphone is. And this was right next to it. Bob Ross kept guard of the Kovics. I'll put this India ink with these, I guess. That's where they were originally, right? Put my travel palettes in here. Gotta add a very important decoration. And this I could probably slide in my drawer here, to be honest. I'll add one more for all of my little tapes and such. Actually, I'll use one more for all of these washi tapes. This I'll put over the paint stuff. This is more spare pens. All my paints went in my drawer. Do you like my light hanging off of my thing? Well, I tried. This is where I hung my other paints, in case you were wondering. And this one I ran out of gold clampy things, so I just kind of put my tripod back to your rightful spot. Here is the whole thing. Beautiful, isn't he? Nothing exciting is happening under here, but I figure I'd bring it down here anyways. I keep my washi tape here. This is like the covers for art books some important papers, a placemat, and I actually also keep the disinfecting wipes in here. Can you guys guess what this is? This is the binder where I keep all of my webcomic stuff. And no, you can't get a peek. This is actually the trash can I leave near my computer desk, but I brought that one over there because I figure these scraps of paper I should probably move this I could toss. And then I keep my pin maker stuff right over here. I guess I'll put like staplers, rubber bands, that stuff can go in here. Over here is my bookshelf where I keep my weeaboo shit and my art books. <laughs> and this is also where I keep my, you can't even see it, my crafting paper. <laughs> this is all going exactly where it already was. Actually, this I should probably put here since it's taller. My desk is finished. Everything is all sorted out. And now, figure out what to do with all this shit. All of this. All of this. Took me all day. But I guess it was worth it. <laughs> Considering I have been filming this all day, I'm gonna go now. <laughs>
Is that better? I don't know why I'm trying to find a good setup. I'm about to end the video. <laughs> but I know that this isn't the type of content that I would normally put out, but a lot of you guys seemed excited for it anyway, so I hope you enjoyed. This was a lot of work. <laughs> if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It inspired you to go through your art supplies and clean everything out. Or if it didn't and you just enjoyed watching me suffer sorting through all of this, let me know your thoughts. <laughs> and if you are new here, hello, my name is Oliver. I post a new video here every single Wednesday. I didn't actually draw anything in this video, but I do a lot of art on this channel as I'm sure you can imagine so if you want to see more videos of mine consider subscribing my dog's digging in the carpet again I need to end this video but I draw a lot of my own original characters and I share my own original stories but I also do fan art and stuff like that so if any of that is of interest to you stick around I'd love to have you and if you want to see more from me you my dog's very distracting <laughs> if you want to see more from me you can follow me on social media those will be linked on screen now and not linked I'm tired there are, you know where they are. <laughs> and if you want to see more videos from me, they will be on screen now and linked in the iCard for you to check out if you want. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you next week. Bye.